Hello everyone, Meldron here. Um, hello, I hope everyone's having a great day. So, I had a few people request that I create a video that explains how to download and install Kronos and how to get on the game. So it's pretty simple. First thing you want to do is you want to navigate to twinstar.cz. This is their website. It may be in uh, Czech when you, when you first get on, so you can just change it to English right up here. Um, I highly recommend creating a username and an account password. That's going to be your login to get into the game. So just like if you're, if you're familiar with the Warcraft launch screen, that'll be your way to um, log in. So you're going to create a unique username and password. You create an account. There's an email verification step. They don't send any spam. I never got any emails from them. It's perfectly fine. Um, next thing you want to do is you want to download the torrent. But before I go over that, I want to go over what they offer at Twinstar. So if you see right here, this is your server statistics. <clears throat> Twinstar actually created uh, five, well, there's actually four unique servers. Uh, well, Kronos 1 and Kronos 2 are two servers, but they're both vanilla WoW. Artemis, believe it or not, is a Cataclysm server. Um, and they actually have, I have, I've heard it's well scripted and it works pretty well. Hyperion is a Wrath of the Lich King server. Ares is a Burning Crusade server. And then Kronos 1 and Kronos 2 are their classic vanilla servers. Now, I do want to say that um, I did play on the Ares server a bit. <clears throat> I don't have any experience with the Wrath server or the Cataclysm server, but I've heard their populations are not as nowhere near as high as the Kronos servers. So this tutorial is going to be for the Kronos server. However, it's very easy. The same steps apply. Um, it's just different torrents you're downloading. That's the only difference. So if we go here to how to connect, click here. <clears throat> And then it will take you to um, this screen. So if you just click on Kronos, Wild Vanilla Classic, it'll bring you right down to what you need to worry about. So you can read these steps, but I'm going to go through. Um, there's two ways you can do it. You can either download these three files. I like to just download the torrent. That's a lot easier for me. So when you uh, click here, it'll redirect you. I'm going to open a new tab. It'll redirect you to this page. Okay. So you want to download the torrent. Um, save file. I'm using Firefox, but you can, of course, use any browser you want. Uh, I'm going to put it on my desktop and just hit save. Okay. So once that once that um, torrent is downloaded, you need to have a torrent software. I personally use Deluge. Um, the download uh, is deluge hyphen or dash excuse me dash torrent dot org. If you just go into Google and type in Deluge, this is the first this is the first thing that will come up. So I already have this downloaded, but you should, you can download this. <coughs> um, there's other, also other torrent programs as well. This is not your only option. You have uTorrent, um, which is another popular one, Azurus. So once you have Deluge installed, you are going to open up your Deluge. Uh, let's get rid of that. And the torrent's here, so I have it on the desktop. So open up your Deluge, and you will hit the plus button. And you may have to, you may have to tell Deluge where you want to actually install files. Um, and it's in the settings, so actually I'll show you how to do that. So if you go to settings and you just download to, I'm actually going to go to desktop because I want to do this on the desktop and not my expansion drive. So you hit OK, apply, and then OK. You hit the plus button and hit file, and then go to desktop, and there's your there's your torrent. Okay, so hit open, and then hit add. Now the um, well, vanilla.zip will start to download. Um, what I want to stress to you guys is that, you know, all the other... So this is going to down in the background while we're talking, but all of the other um, expansions are very, very similar. So if we scroll up from here, here's the Ares Burning Crusade server. There's a torrent for that. There's a torrent for Hyperion. There's a torrent for Cataclysm. So these are all torrents. So whatever one you want to pick, just click the torrent button, download it, uh, open it up in your in your torrent downloading program, your torrent torrent program, and it'll start to download. So I'm going to speed this up. I'm actually going to Cut, cut and paste the video, so we'll go to the when it's done, and then we'll go through the actual installation. Okay? Alright, be back in a second. Okay, with the power of the internet and the power of computers, <laughs> we are done. Okay, it's like those like baking shows where they like throw in the, or cooking shows where they throw in the, uh, like, oh, they prep the food, and then they say, oh, we just have one done in our oven here. It's like that. So, once it's done, uh, in Deluge, you'll see the seating. You can now close your torrent software. Um, and then, I uh, forgot to mention, this is a Windows-only um, installation guide. If you're running Linux, um, you, if you're running through Wine, I'm not sure how you would do it, but if you're running through Wine, then you can do it th through Wine. 
if you're not familiar with what Wine is, it's just a Windows emulator in Linux. Um, so double click on your zip file and that'll open up a uh, folder showing this is the file you want. So I'm gonna drag it on my desktop and that'll extract the file. So while it's extracting, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, we've extracted the file, we've downloaded it. Um, the extraction is complete. So this is your WoW vanilla folder. I got rid of the compressed folder and the, and the uh, torrent file. So if we double click here, this is your installation. The game is actually installed. This is your WoW.exe. This is where you're going to double click to launch the game. But there's two, there's one step we have to do, but one thing I want to talk about that's optional. So if you're interested in installing add-ons, I'm sure you guys probably know this, but you, ins you throw all your add-ons in the interface folder. So wowaddons.com or vanilla addons excuse me.com vanilla-addons.com is where you can download your add-ons for this current patch for 1.12.1 um, you just type the add-on name so let's say we'll put we'll type an atlas here and that should come up with um, the atlas add-ons so atlas quest atlas loot atlas and you can just download them okay click here and you download that's it that's easy once it's downloaded you'll have to uncompress it like we did with the torrent file and then you can just throw them right in this folder Okay, but in order to play on Kronos, we have to set our realmless.wtf. So originally it's set for a Blizzard server. So double click on here. I've already changed it um, to the, well, this is the rebirth, but so if you want to play on Kronos, so uh, you just take this, step four, set realmless, take this wow.twinstar.cz, control C or copy, highlight whatever is already there, and just control V or paste. File, this is this is for Kronos, file save, and now you're able to play on Kronos. That's it. You double click on this wow.exe icon, you type in your username and password that you already created on the Kronos website, and you're golden, you're in. Now, there's a re the rebirth.net, I'm sure some of you have heard of it, uh, or the rebirth is another vanilla wow server that's out there. It's not as populated as Kronos, not as popular, but it's also a viable option if you wanna check that out. So if you go to the rebirth.net, um, you have to create a new username and password just like, so you go to, you know, account or getting started. I think it's, uh, getting started and you create account right here. Boom. Once that's done, you set your realm list to wow.therebirth.net. So we'll go to the main page. So right here, wow.therebirth.net, control C, uh, double click. And then you just change this to that. Done. That's it. I'm not going to save, but, uh, and that's it, literally, guys. You double-click on here, and the game launches. That easy. Um, wow.exe is what you want to use. Hey, guys, one more thing I forgot to mention. If you're a Mac user, um, you can install this game. <clears throat> so if you go down to here where the directions are, it says if you need a Mac client, read this forum. You're going to have to sign up for a forum. Um, username and password, which I believe is actually different from the... Uh, username and password used to play the game. So if you click this, it'll bring you to a forum post which will direct you to a torrent that after some reading, it'll direct you to, for, to a torrent that you can download the uh, Mac installation. Okay, same thing, you're downloading the torrent using torrent software, you're extracting it using zip archiver and Mac, you're, then you're just double clicking on the icon and changing the realm list file. That's it, it's the same exact installation. Just I just wanna talk about that real quick. Have a great one guys, see you on the game and take it easy.